Yes, please. Who's going to come with me? I'll be right back. <clears throat> My dear, tea will be a few minutes. Why don't we take advantage of this time and put your things together? But what about Jeffrey? Oh, he'll be along in a minute. Well, we've got gas on. But we need a match to light it. Oh, and where are you off to? I have some more things to pack. And I'm going to get ready to leave. Well, I'm packed already. And as soon as you get back at your team, mate, I'm getting out of here. Magic is the match. Oh, thank you. Your valise. Oh, your valise. I'm cracking jacket valise. Oh, what about the tea? May I be of assistance? I don't need any assistance. You could give me, Ripper. Maybe you do. There's a boat. Eh? There's a boat. But it's sitting there ready to use. It's still capable of distance. So step right up and put on your cruising shoes. I've got a teeny little dingy for you to see. <laughs>
Sister Lynch, you may handle my vicar and nothing more. Oh, handle anything you like, miss. I'm afraid not. You see, I haven't forgotten the incident behind the chitter. Oh, neither have I. Well, try, Mr. Flint. Oh, try. I'm always in there trying. Oh, Mr. Flint, remember, you are a gentleman and I am a lady. Oh, that's the way it's supposed to be. Mr. Flint. I say, what about tea? Tea? Letty, Letty, where is that? You don't suppose she... No, her valise is still here. And what have we here? What have we here? Gentlemen, another diabolical plot. <laughs> Something's afoot. <laughs> I don't think she would have. She couldn't have. She did. Oh. Gentlemen. The coach house. <laughs>